Welcome back to Tied Up in Sydney. One of my first goals for 2018 is to get through this series on documenting the aesthetic necktie knots, those classic knots that were found in the 85 ways to tie a tie. If you haven't seen it yet, click right up here, take a look at the Oriental Knot video. That's the one that started the series, and I go through uh, the, the tips on how to start documenting with, with a shorthand method so that you can read the steps, so that you can remember how to tie some of these necktie knots. I started the series with asymmetric knots, and I started smallest to largest, and then I moved on to the symmetric necktie knots. Again, smallest to largest. And we've only got two left, so we're getting to the larger necktie knots in the series. And this video is all about the Hanover knot. By far, this is one of my favorites. And the reason for that is comes down to symmetry. Take a close look. When done right, the Hanover knot creates a perfect equilateral triangle. And human beings are attracted to things with good symmetry. So if I'm looking for uh, a good classic necktie knot, I'm choosing the Hanover knot over the Windsor any day of the week. Now, before I take it down, I do want to cover just a few things about the Hanover knot. It does create a larger, more expressive, bolder necktie knot. So the collar that you choose should probably be a wide collar or a spread collar. You don't want thinner collars, okay? And the other thing is the tie. Now, I'm using a microfiber tie, and it's actually an extra long tie. And the reason why I've chosen this particular tie, one, is it goes well with my shirt. Uh, but two, because if I step back and go up on my tippy toes, you can see that I actually still have perfect length on this particular tie knot, even though I've tied a very large tie. And it's because it's an extra long tie. Uh, but if I tied any other necktie with the Hanover, I just throw on a vest, and it doesn't matter how long I have it. All right, I'll take it down, and I'll show you how to tie it. Before I get into tying the Hanover, I'll just let you know that I do have this video flipped for your viewing pleasure. So uh, when I say my right side, I'm going to be, it's going to be your right side. If I say my left side, it'll be your left side. So it should look like tying the tie in the mirror. Now, the first step in uh, the Hanover knot says left out of the diagram. So I know I need to start with my seam side out. Uh, lengthwise, you're going to be using a ton of fabric, guys. So many of you, if you're using a standard length necktie, you might have it. Um, you know, you're going to have a, a small amount of fabric on your on your tail side. But it, it, again, trial and error, and also wear a vest if you need to. That way, it doesn't matter how how uh, how short the tie actually falls, you'll still have a nice knot. And again, you're looking for that perfect equilateral triangle. There's quite a few steps. So left out of the diagram. And then you come right in to the diagram, then center out. From here, left into the diagram, right out, and center in. So basically just did the exact same thing, just mirror image to each other. Now we're going to go left out of the diagram, right in, center out, and you come through the loop you just created. That's all there is to it, guys. It's quite simple. I like to pull up on the back just to tighten my knot, and it creates that equilateral triangle for me. Any kind of dimple that you want, cinch it up and bring your collar down. And you have that perfect equilateral triangle, hand over knot. This is the perfect knot to help you stand out. If you're on a first date, guys, and you want to look good, or if you've got a very important presentation, trust me, the Hanover knot and that symmetry is going to go a long way for you. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and share this video with your friends.